Hello everyone, today's question, why are aldehydes easily oxidized to acids, that is carboxylic acid, compared to ketones? First, we have to know what is the structure of aldehyde and ketone and what is the basic difference. In both cases, we have carbonyl group. But when it is aldehyde, one side you have hydrogen, but you do not have any hydrogen if it is ketone. Now, both side there is uh, R group, it may be alkyl group, it may be some aromatic uh, ring. It may be uh, same group both side or it may not be. Some examples of aldehyde in the left hand side here we have the CH bond that must be present if it is aldehyde the R group is H for formaldehyde acetaldehyde CH3 benzaldehyde R group is PH and for ketone here this R group left hand side methyl methyl ethyl and the other side also there is some other aldehyde okay now for aldehydes it is observed that if it is treated with some chromium uh, plus 6 oxidation state reagent or KMnO4 then it is oxidized to carboxylic acid and it contains same number of carbon atoms. So if I am writing RCHO in presence of chromium 6 reagent or KMnO MnO4 it is converted to RCOOH and here number of carbon atoms remain same that you can understand from this picture. But when it is ketone they do not undergo this type of oxidation very easily. And the actual reason is this lack of CH bond. So what happens when there is oxidation of ketone? Here both side we have CC bond. And when it is oxidation, basically the condition is very drastic. Now depending on which side the CC bond will be broken, we can get mixture of carboxylic acid. Now what type of carboxylic acid we get that I will discuss in the next video. But right now you have to understand that here CH bond is not broken, CC bond is broken and that is why it is so difficult. Now only strong oxidizing agent KMnO4 not chromium plus 6 because now the condition must be very drastic. Only strong oxidizing agent it can oxidize ketones and there is lesser number of carbon atoms because CC bond is broken. So if uh, the left hand side CC bond is broken you are getting RCO2H. If right hand side it will be R prime CA to H fine. So there is some destructive way by which the CC bond is broken. So it is not so smooth as you have seen in case of aldehyde where same number of carbon atoms it is intact but in case of ketone number of carbon atoms that will be lesser because oxidation is happening but it is happening in a very destructive way by breaking the CC bond. So the conclusion is oxidation of aldehydes involve the cleavage of CH bond but that of ketones involve cleavage of CC bond and that is obviously a difficult process. But if this is the reason why this CH bond is so much important that we have to know. So if we look deep into the mechanism first in case of aldehyde what happens the key step in case of aldehyde oxidation is the formation of hydrate. So hydrate is this molecule which is in uh, blue square now when this hydrate is formed then the oxidation is coming into the picture now rem uh, remember that this is also the reason that mild oxidizing agent which are normally used in absence of water now when it is absence of water obviously hydrate formation not possible then what happens when mild oxidizing agent are used oxidation is arrested at the aldehyde stage so suppose you have some alcohol and you are using weak oxidizing agent it will stop at this position because there is no presence of water but if it is not mild oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent water is present and in that case hydrate is formed and once hydrate is formed then in presence of oxidant let's see what happens now in presence of oxidant this type of structure is formed now this LG means living group because this group ultimately will be removed so that is why it is written as living group now this living group is basically generated from the oxidant and how it is generated that i will also show you so finally what happens there is elimination so elimination of this ch bond will be broken this carbon oxygen bond will be formed olg bond will be broken so ultimately there will be C double bond O formation. So this is actually the carboxylic acid and net removal of H and LG is occurring here. Okay. 
but when it is uh, remember this lg is generated from oxidant i will show that also this also explain why ketones do not oxidize further because when it is ketone now same type of hydrate hydrate formation will be there so double arrows are there because some steps i have jumped but ultimately this olg type that is this is analog of this one this will be formed but now you do not have any ch bond you have either cr bond or cr prime bond so further oxidation that is not possible so this is the reason why ketones do not oxidize further now as it is already mentioned in the previous slide that chromium 6 reagent now chromium 6 reagent these are different types of reagent that you can use potassium dichromate chromium trioxide sodium dichromate all are in presence of acidic condition but here the actual important reagent that is the common reagent that is formed from all these different types of chromium 6 reagent is this chromic acid okay so directly we do not use chromic acid when you use all these different reagents this is actually formed so this chromic acid here also oxidation state is plus 6 now we will see how this OLG is formed. So this is aldehyde. Next there will be formation of hydrate and the actual active oxidizing agent is this one. Now the lone pair of oxygen it will attack here. Fine. Now one of the COH, uh, sorry, uh, chromium OH, as the medium is acidic, I am writing acid in simple way, HA. So this will be attracted towards it. So OH will be removed in the form of water. So ultimately what you will get? HO, O, this H will also be removed. OCR bond is formed. OH, H and R. So this is actually the LG. So finally what will happen? The CH bond will be broken. OCR bond will also be broken. And one of the C double bond O, it will be now OH. So the freight of chromium reagent is like this. And look at it, this uh, site product that is the fate of this oxidizing agent H2CRO4. This is H2CRO4 and this is H2CRO3. Here oxidation state is plus 4. That means from plus 6 oxidation state as it is oxidizing agent, so it will be reduced. And uh, now it is plus 4 oxidation state. But what is the fate of the aldehyde? Now HO, then C, double bond O and r so here this in this way this uh, ch bond will be broken and olg bond will be broken so that is why carboxylic acid formation is possible and for uh, ketone when cc bond is broken how from unsymmetrical ketone different types of carboxylic acid can be produced that you will see in the next video so i hope in this video uh, it will be helpful for you to understand why aldehydes can be oxidized easily and please also have a look in the description box where you will find all the important playlist link i'll see you in the next video